The story of the first peoples of the Americas is one of ancient journeys, frigid frontiers, and the complex blending of human lineages across the vast northern expanse of Eurasia and Beringia. At the heart of this story is the ancient Beringian lineage, a population that once inhabited Ice Age Alaska and formed a unique branch of the early Native American tree before disappearing from the genetic record. Through a deep comparison of genetic data, archaeological discoveries, and climatic reconstructions, we can trace how this population emerged from a complex web of earlier migrations involving ancient North Siberians, ancient East Asians, and the ancestors of modern Native Americans. In archaeogenetics, the term ancient Beringian refers to a genetic lineage discovered through the genome of an infant found at the Upward Sun River site in the Tanana River Valley of Alaska, dated to approximately 11,500 years ago. As reported, the Upward Sun River genome represents a distinct genetic clade that branched off from the ancestral Native American lineage around 20,000 to 18,000 years ago. This lineage is now extinct and left no direct descendants among modern Native Americans, yet it provides a genetic and archaeological snapshot of a people who were shaped by, and ultimately shaped, the early peopling of the Americas. DNA from Upward Sun River reveals a story of long isolation in Beringia, during the last glacial maximum, followed by population movement and replacement. The origins of the ancient Beringians are deeply tied to a prehistoric admixture event that occurred between 25,000 and 20,000 years ago. The ancestral Native American lineage from which ancient Beringians descended was formed through a blend of approximately 65% East Asian and 35% ancient North Eurasian ancestry. This genetic fusion likely occurred somewhere in southern Siberia or northeastern Asia, in a corridor where migratory East Asians encountered descendants Upper Paleolithic Siberians, associated with the ancestral Native American component. The ancestral Native American lineage itself was not homogenous. It had roots in an even earlier population called the ancient North Siberians, whose remains were discovered at the Yana rhinoceros horn site in northeastern Siberia. This site, dated to around 31,630 calibrated years before present, is among the oldest known Arctic settlements. Genetic analysis of teeth from Yana revealed that the ancient North Siberians represented a distinct archaeogenetic lineage. Combining West Eurasian ancestry with significant East Asian ancestry, anywhere from 22% to 50%. The Yana population is estimated to have split from early West Eurasians around 38,000 years ago. Tianyuan Man, a 40,000-year-old individual from near Beijing, China, is one of the earliest anatomically modern humans in East Asia. He carried mitochondrial haplogroup B, and was genetically closer to Native Americans and modern East Asians than to Europeans. Importantly, Tianyuan Man's genome has been shown to share more alleles with South American indigenous peoples such as the Surui and Caritiana than with other Native Americans, implying that some parts of this ancient East Asian ancestry had a deep influence on the genetic structure of the Americas. Thus, the ancient Beringian lineage crystallized from a multi-thousand-year process of movement, admixture, and environmental adaptation. As one study notes, the ancient Beringian and the ancestral Native American lineage formed about 25,000 years ago and subsequently diverged from each other, with the ancient Beringians staying in the Beringian region, while the ancestral Native Americans populated the Americas. The period between 26,000 and 19,000 years ago, known as the last glacial maximum, saw the spread of immense ice sheets across Canada and much of Alaska. However, Beringia, the landmass connecting Siberia and Alaska, remained largely ice-free, providing a refugium for human populations. According to the Beringian standstill hypothesis, ancestral Native American populations remained genetically isolated in Beringia for several thousand years before dispersing into the Americas. This standstill is supported by mitochondrial and nuclear DNA evidence. For instance, Upward Sun River carries maternal DNA haplogroup C1b, while Upward Sun River possesses a basal lineage of haplogroup B2. 
Both haplogroups are found exclusively in the Americas and represent northernmost examples of these maternal lineages. These data indicate that the genetic diversity in ancient Beringia was higher than in modern indigenous populations, and that this diversity was shaped during a prolonged period of isolation. The Arctic lifestyle of these early Beringians is reflected in their archaeological record. The Upward Sun River site is affiliated with the Denali complex and Paleo-Arctic tradition, and artifacts found in the infant grave include a flake of obsidian sourced from 600 kilometers, nearly 400 miles, away in the Yukon, a testament to the expansive knowledge and movement of these ancient peoples. Although Beringia provided refuge during the last glacial maximum, the initial movement of human populations into this region likely occurred earlier, during a warmer phase between 33,000 and 30,000 years ago. This climatic window allowed coastal populations to move northward along the Pacific coast before being trapped by the advancing ice. The migration likely followed the so-called Kelp Highway, with early humans camping near estuaries and hunting marine animals such as seals and fish. By 30,000 years ago, these groups would have needed to be in position near the Bering Strait before the route was closed off by glacial advance. Evidence from On Your Knees Cave in southeast Alaska and other ice-free refugia along the coast suggests that some of these migrants could have continued southward into the Americas via a coastal route long before the interior ice corridor opened around 14,000 years ago. Genetic divergence estimates indicate that the earliest split between ancient Beringians and other Native American groups occurred around 20,000 to 18,000 years ago. Later, between 17,500 and 14,600 years ago, the primary Native American branches, the North Native American and South Native American lineages, diverged and expanded across the continent. Upward Sun River does not genetically cluster with later ancient individuals from the Americas, such as Anzic I or Kennewick Man. These later individuals represent northern or southern Native American lineages that had already diverged from the ancient Beringians. This shows that the ancient Beringian lineage was a terminal offshoot, one that persisted in the north, while other groups spread southward and diversified. Interestingly, the Trail Creek Cave individual, dated to 9,000 years ago, clusters with Upward Sun River 1, suggesting that some ancient Beringians may have survived longer in Alaska before being fully replaced by northern Native American populations during a back migration around 2,500 years ago. This movement introduced genetic material from Paleo-Siberian populations, eventually giving rise to groups like the Athabascans through admixture. Upward Sun River shows a striking genetic affinity to both East Asians and Siberians, but also carries a notable degree of Denisovan ancestry that is higher than that found in modern Native Americans. This suggests that Denisovan gene flow was present in the ancestral population that formed ancient Beringian and ancient Native American lineages, but was later diluted or lost in subsequent generations. The ancient North Eurasian contribution to Native Americans, including Upward Sun River and Anzic I, is estimated at about 36.8%. Later populations, like the ancient Paleo-Siberians, carried around 30% ancestral Native American ancestry and 70% East Asian ancestry, providing further evidence that Siberia remained a zone of ongoing admixture long after the initial peopling of Beringia. Phenotypic data from Upward Sun River adds another layer to this story. This individual did not possess the derived allele associated with modern East Asian and Native American traits, such as thicker hair and shovel-shaped incisors. This matches archaeological expectations. Ancient Beringians would have hunted terrestrial game, such as caribou and bison, during brief summer months, and relied on preserved meat and marine resources during the harsh winters. The Denali complex toolkits, with their microblades, scrapers and projectile points, reflect the high degree of technological specialization necessary for survival in this unforgiving landscape. By 11,500 years ago, the ancient Beringians had likely reached their peak in population and range. However, within a few millennia, their lineage was absorbed or replaced by northern Native American groups moving northward. Genetic data shows that modern Athabascan populations represent a blend of these incoming northern Native American peoples and Paleo-Siberian groups, 
who migrated from Asia about 2,500 years ago. The ancient Beringian lineage, like the Yana and Malta lineages before it, represents a key piece of the puzzle in understanding the peopling of the Americas. It underscores the fact that the initial movement into the New World was not a single, straightforward event, but a complex process involving population divergence, admixture and extinction. The ancient Beringians stand as a silent witness to one of humanity's most remarkable feats, the crossing into the Americas. Their genetic profile captures the moment when East met West in the icy corridors of Beringia, and their fate reflects the impermanence of early human lineages. They were born from the fusion of ancient North Eurasians and East Asians, shaped in isolation during the glacial maximum, and ultimately swept away in the currents of human expansion. Through their DNA, we glimpse connections stretching back to Tianyuanman near Beijing, the ancient North Siberians hunters of the Yana River, and the Malta boy of central Siberia. And through their disappearance, we see how dynamic and fragile the early human story truly is. As science continues to refine these ancient narratives, the ancient Beringians remind us that even the coldest corners of the Ice Age world were never beyond the reach of human feet and human memory. The settlement of the Americas is a complex topic, so check out our other videos to learn more on this fascinating subject.